Without facts, you can't have truth. Without truth, you can't have trust. Without these three, we have no democracy. Information disruption is by definition a global problem. And what I did was try to hack their own system. I used the same keywords to get recommended into the extremists. Why should digital platforms allow that kind of speech on their platforms? Our observation was that there is algorithmic amplification of center-right content. But we, we shouldn't also take into account the responsibility of, of influencers and content creators. A child somewhere is going to end up committing suicide because of the content that they have just consumed. I think if you move through the world being objectified or having been harassed in real life situations, you sit at the table with a very different set of priorities. We need rules for platforms, but we also need better rules for politicians, for presidents, for judges, for parliamentarians, for journalists, for citizens. It's collective data, but how do you drive that collective benefit? Then my view is that the guidelines need to be very clear that they are modeling a human rights approach. There is more safety regulations for a refrigerator or a toaster in your kitchen than safety regulations for platforms that touch billions of people. When we talk about regulation here, we're thinking of standards. But there are many governments who are thinking of regulation in terms of control. Now, how do we uh, bring that into this conversation? Who pays the cost and how much does it cost to society and to democracy? Technology and the internet that should be open to all, accessible by all. Our concern here is to protect and reinforce freedom of expression, not to weaken it. One thing you can take away from these two days is that the stakes are incredibly high. So our reflections must take place also at this scale, the right scale, the global scale, based upon common principles.